for today we'll be starting off with module 1 cover ethics and management what is ethics what is business ethics what is not business ethics and how do corporations observe ethics in their organization okay so if i talk about ethics and management uh, you know ethics as a discipline as a reflective in behavior i would call it a reflective in behavior because Ethics it involves reflection of morality, and that is why it is called as moral philosophy. It is a practice of, uh, you know, philosophical reflections, and it analyzes the moral judgments we make. We make a lot of, uh, you know, different uh, kind of moral judgments in our life when we say that a particular thing is good or bad. It is right to do this. It is wrong to do this. We're all making moral judgments. When we do such, uh, you know, um, all these moral judgments that we tend to pass on. It is based on, uh, you know, uh, several assumptions about morality, which are rooted in our culture, which are rooted in our education. And, you know, the, these uh, uh, things that are deep rooted, they, they, they might not be permanent. They may change. They may change as we get exposed to more education, as we get, as we get exposure to new kinds of culture, as we interact with people from different backgrounds, the, these uh, concepts, these assumptions, they might undergo changes. So we, we can be educated in ethics and we can keep on educating ourselves through socialization process. When we go from one country to another country, when we familiarize ourselves with another society, their conventions, their customs, their traditions, we often do change or question our own assumptions and we develop a kind of or rather our moral assumptions also they undergo substantial changes so all these are possible but ethics as reflective in behavior involves certain i mean it raises certain uh, questions about morality we further know that uh, ethics has been derived from the greek word ethikos um, you know um, it is right from the Greek word um, that is uh, ethikos or, uh, you know, the Latin word that is mors. Uh, from there, we have derived this word uh, ethics. They are terms that uh, have to do with custom, habit, behavior. So, in a very important way, we can see that historically itself, these words or rather these disciplines and these endeavors, they're associated with customs, habits and behaviors of human beings. If we start to observe, uh, of course, the traditional discipline, the traditional definition of ethics, uh, we would see that it is normative science of conduct of human beings living in the society. So when we talk about normative science, it deals with certain standards, a standard of what? A standard of behavior, basically. There is a norm or there is a standard according to which you are expected to behave. So many societies have such standards of behavior and any deviance from the standard behavior they're treated as to be very objectionable sometimes, punishable. And in case they involve certain very, um, and in certain cases, they can involve very serious consequences. So uh, basically, uh, we need to know that it has been derived from the Greek word ethikos or the Latin word mors. That is where we derive the word ethics from. And ethics as a discipline, it has got to do more with what is right or wrong, what is just or unjust, what is fair, unfair, if it, what is good or bad. If we, if we are giving these sort of classifications, we are basically talking about ethics. So ethics, it can further be classified into three broad categories. That is personal ethics, uh, the business ethics, and then the various professions uh, that have got to do with ethics. So what is personal ethics? Personal ethics is when I take into consideration what the society would uh, take uh, for me as an individual, whether it would judge me as a fair individual, an honest individual, I am talking about personal ethics. So, you know, when uh, the rules of ethics, they apply to an individual's personality, like honesty, fairness, preventing harm to others, we're talking about personal ethics. What is business ethics? Business ethics is basically the application of ethics to business practices. So, wherein we say a business is fair, a business is responsible towards the various stakeholders. We're talking about business ethics. We are talking about the application of ethics in the various uh, businesses, right? So, uh, is, is the business uh, talking uh, fairly towards consumer, customers? Is it, giving, um, is it giving a deal at fair prices or not? Is it uh, polluting the environment? We're talking about business ethics. 
right and then we have different types of professional ethics like one for example is accounting ethics so what is accounting ethics when the concepts of ethics are being applied by professional in practicing accounting that is called as accounting ethics so further we see that what is ethics so ethics uh, it is that branch of philosophy that, like I was telling you, it focuses on morality, the way in which moral principles are applied in daily life. It basically has to answer a fundamental question. What is fair? What is just? What is the right thing to do in this situation? So ethics, it involves an active process of applying values, which may range uh, from religious principles to customs to traditions. So like I was right now telling you people that uh, you know, we, we may change our concepts with more socialization, with more interaction with people from different backgrounds, by knowing, by visiting different countries. Our opinion about certain things to be right or wrong can be changed. So it is nothing that is permanent. It is that you evolve, um, you know, you, you develop your knowledge about certain things as uh, you gain more knowledge, right, as you interact with more people. So it deals with behavior, it deals with habit because you know habit formation is very important in human beings and also in societies. There are certain habits which individuals have which are good, which we term as good, we term as bad, we term as right, wrong, against customs. Many of our assumptions as I already mentioned are based on customs or rather to put in another word, they are customary. And as I already mentioned, ethics is a philosophical study of morality. It involves reflection. It has to think about conceptually analyze why certain things are right what makes a particular action right what makes a certain action good or what are the criteria when we apply in order to evaluate in order to morally evaluate a particular behavior or a particular action so these uh, you know that is why it involves a reflection sort of thing and every society has morals but ethics it's a reflective endeavor and the kind of ethics which societies have developed would be definitely different. It demands philosophical reflections, high philosophical reflections. So in that sense, we say that ethics and morality deal with certain principles that guide human behavior. And these principles, like as I already mentioned, they've evolved over a period of time. And there are several factors which might have influ influenced their evolution. Uh, so we, we will be discussing some of these things in the later lectures also. And then they try to bring out uh, order to both individual and collective human living um, uh, livings basically so uh, they uh, tend to aim at uh, addressing conflicts to resolve conflicts or to minimize the kind of conflicts that might evolve that might emerge in human social uh, living or social life like in the video that we just now saw uh, we see that basically uh, if every uh, every individual was aiming for their own selfish urges, then we also saw in the video that there would be a possible breakdown in the society that would take place. So in order to avoid those uh, sort of conflicts, in order to minimize these kinds of conflicts, uh, you know, there is this concept of ethics, there is this concept of right or wrong that is generally acceptable to the society, a particular action, or there is a particular action that won't be accepted by the society, or you may have severe punishments um, to undergo if you perform those kinds of actions. So further we see what is ethics. So ethics, like I told you, it is a philosophy. It is uh, philosophical reflections that we see here. It is normative science because it has got to do with the norms of the society that are there for uh, which would govern the human conduct. It is a science because it follows certain uh, sort of logical reasoning because of which people are able to control their urges and uh, you know uh, it, it defines what is right or wrong where it, it tells you about an action which is going to be right or wrong under certain scenarios so uh, you know ethics uh, just remember that it is a, a more, more about how do you control people's actions so that the total breakdown of the site doesn't play, take place the human conduct is controlled through ethics so if we talk about the view of Alexander Scutch also, he says that ethics is an effort of harmonization to mitigate the conflicts in our relationships and it is a study of the impulse that leads to this endeavor, the method it employs and the phenomena to which it gives rise. So an effort to harmonization is conscious or unconscious effort to harmonization is there because without such process of harmonization, no human societies can survive uh, and uh, you know mitigate conflicts. 
so that is very important for this some sort of regulations are required some sort of norms or behaviors are required and ethics deals with these principles that suggest norms so uh, you know it tells you more about morality it tells you more about norms which are required so that uh, the total process of harmonization the total process of mitigating conflicts can take place so uh, further we see what is business ethics so business ethics it focuses on what constitutes right or wrong behavior in the world of business corporate business executives they have the responsibility to their shareholders their employees to make decisions that will help their business makes profit but in doing so business people also have a responsibility to the public to uh, and themselves to maintain ethical principles so basically what is business ethics business ethics is basically the application of ethics in uh, in businesses basically so uh, you know when a business is being responsible to its various stakeholders the various stakeholders being the general public uh, its own employees uh, you know the various shareholders uh, the various um, suppliers when uh, when you know the business uh, when the organization it aims at uh, you know being responsible towards these various parties when it counts for its actions when it thinks twice before taking a decision whether the action would be liked by these parties or not uh, then it is called as business ethics then we say that the uh, business is trying to practice ethical practices right so that is what is business ethics so furthermore although ethics must provide moral guidelines individual must apply these guidelines in making decisions ethics that applies to businesses is not a separate theory of ethics like i was telling you it is an application of ethics to various business situations although all people have ethical responsibilities higher ethical standards are imposed upon professional who uh, you know lie down social models such as physicians to business people basically because these are the people on whom the society is having a closer uh, view or who, who the society who the lower businessmen who uh, the general public is trying to admire so when we talk about business ethics we we try to um, make the businesses preach practices which can be laid down as examples in front of everyone so uh, you know when a physician uh, or when a doctor says that the treatment is going to be there for you free of cost also because you require this aid at this time he is practicing ethics he is doing an action which would be liked by the society more he is doing an action which everyone would say is a good action which the society would basically appreciate however when we see that the uh, doctor in order to uh, extract his fees in order to um, you know pull out a good amount of money is not providing proper cure to the patients is not uh, treating the pa patient well because he doesn't have those funds then we say that that doctor is not ethical he is not fair in uh, uh, you know uh, in his dealings with his patients so business ethics is basically the application of ethics to various business situations so when we say that um, in order to get a contract the uh, businessman he paid bribery to someone in order to get that uh contract uh with, with himself then then we say that that bis, that that particular organization uh doesn't have any uh, ethical or uh, doesn't have any uh, moral values right so that is what is business ethics further we see what is business ethics so like i was telling you it is the application of general ethical ideas to business behavior it is based on the principle of integrity fairness concentrates on the benefits to various stakeholders both internal and external now who are the internal stakeholders internal stakeholders are the people who are directly linked to the organization like the, the organization's own employees and the external stakeholders to all the various other parties like other parties being the shareholders like the customers the raw material suppliers the general public so these are all the external stakeholders so business ethics is basically the application of ethics uh, in business scenarios wherein uh, its decisions would impact all these people in a positive way so stakeholders include those individuals and groups without which the organization does not have an existence it includes shareholders creditors employees customers dealers vendors government and the society so what is not business ethics just remember what is not business ethics ethics is different from religion remember it is not religion it is not 
uh, synonymous to law. It ethical standards they are different from cultural states. It is different from what I feel, and it it is not science in the strictest sense of term. And ethics is not just a collection of values. It is the application of those values. It is the application of things that the society would say is just or unjust, right or wrong, fair or unfair, good or bad. So you know. Um, it it can be that various religions they have tried to preach about ethics in their uh, own ways but then ethics is different from uh, religion ethics is different from law how is ethics different from law ethics is you know a legal action and an ethical action they are two separate things now how do i say that uh, how do i say that ethics uh, ethical actions and legal actions they are two different things when i say that uh, you know uh, uh, to give you a simple example a real real life example let's say i have an emergency patient in my car and i just cross the traffic light um, you know with that patient in my car i i just uh, uh, ignore the re red traffic light and i pass the signal as it is i am doing an action that is illegal because crossing the street at the red light no one would allow me the traffic police would definitely find me for that so that's an illegal action but when i say i have an emergency patient i am trying to save someone's life and that's why i am ignoring the red light the so what do you people think it, it would the police would the traffic police ignore me pardon me for this yes definitely they would say that yes she is she's doing a right job she's taking a patient who's in a critical scenario she's trying to save a life so saving a life here is more important as compared to obeying the traffic rules there so that's why i say that you know an ethical action is different from a legal action these these are two different things so similarly cultural traits are different from ethical standards ethics is different from what i personally feel about something it is not science and it is not just a collection of values if you see that how corporations they observe ethics uh, so there, there are various uh, organizations like SEBI, CII. There are certain uh, organizations that represent corporation issue codes of best practices and enjoin their members to observe them. Similarly, you know all uh, high-rated B schools like IIMs and even our schools, they teach what is they instruct people, they instruct the upcoming. Uh, businessmen as to what is business ethics they tell about what is corporate social responsibility what is co corporate governance in the curriculum like in our over in our uh, outline course outline also i was briefing you that we'll be covering all these topics in detail so they tell us as to how to conduct an uh, ethical uh, audit in the organization so this is how the organizations they observe ethics in their own organizations further uh, so to sum up this lecture uh, you know, what is business ethics? Business ethics is basically the application of ethics in real life scenarios. So we practice those business policies, those uh, things that, uh, you know, would keep us away from those controversial subjects. We would like to take a stand which the society would generally accept. Right. So uh, over here, we would be having a discussion on uh, certain topics like what is insider trading, bribery, discrimination, social responsibility, fiduciary uh, responsibility. And the law usually sets the tone for business ethics, providing a basic guideline that businesses cannot choose to follow uh, to gain public approval. Right. So I hope with this uh, you are now clear with what is ethics, what is business ethics, uh, what is not business ethics and how do corporations observe ethics in their own organizations these are the topics that i wanted to cover uh, thank you very much for your patience for uh, all my lectures um, i'm basically referring to the book that is ac fernando uh, that book can be used by you people it's easily available so that's it for today's session thank you very much